John here for the Best Buy Canada blog and today we're going to take a look at the Xbox Series S, one of two next generation consoles from Microsoft. The Xbox Series S is an all digital video game console which shares the same core capabilities of its bigger brother the Xbox Series X, but at a budget friendly price. Having spent the last few weeks with the Xbox Series S, it's clear to see that this tiny machine has a lot of power under its hood. So here's a closer look at the console itself. As you can see, there's a USB port here. There's a button here to sync. There's your power button. And on the top here, it's got this, uh, that's with the ventilation, the fans under there. It's black exhaust port and the Xbox labeled there. And now we're going to turn this over here. And as you can see on the left, we've got uh, our Ethernet, then two super speed USB ports, HDMI, the storage expansion for the Seagate one terabyte storage card, and there's the power itself. Console itself, you can position horizontally or vertically depending on you know your setup in your entertainment center now the xbox series s um, plays all the same games as the xbox series x um, just the way i would explain it would be is it, it just takes things down a notch or two so the graphics might not be as sharp as what you would see on the xbox series x but they are still considerably better what you would see on an Xbox One or an Xbox One X. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, this is an all digital console. So that means that you do not get a optical drive or Blu-ray drive with the Xbox Series S. Um, all the games that you're gonna play on it are gonna be downloaded from Xbox and the console itself comes with a 512 gigabyte solid state drive. Um, by the time everything gets formatted and the operating system loaded on it, uh, you're left with about 364 gigabytes. So roughly, you know, depending on the types of games that you play, some are bigger than others, some are smaller, you could probably expect to fit maybe four four more games on the console itself now you can expand storage for the xbox series s so now let's take a look at the new xbox wireless controller um, first thing i noticed and as soon as i put it into my hands that it retains the classic xbox layout that fans have come to know and love and it instantly feels familiar in your hands when holding it. Uh, you can see here that they've got the D-pad, they've redesigned it. So the controller now has a share button in the center. Uh, this new button allows you to easily share your video clips and pictures with your friends on social media. Right? And uh, here's the back of the controller here now. Port and each of the grips here has uh, some texture on it, which allows you to get a better hold of the controller uh, and keep it in your hands from slipping. The trigger and bumper buttons both have a bit of that texture on it as well. There's the sync button, uh, port there to plug in the charger if you're using the charging kit. So as you can see, like I said, it's the, you could play the same games it's the Xbox Series S is just for someone who doesn't have to have the latest and greatest technology. Um, that's what and, and what makes it so appealing is that uh, it's affordability. So you get the next generation experience. This is much better than Xbox One or and the Xbox One X, but slightly below the Series X. So there you have it. There's the Xbox Series S review. Uh, check out my full and more detailed review on the Best Buy Canada blog. 
And until then, I'll see you later. Thanks. Thank you.